Hello, today I'm going to share with you how to arrange the chess pieces in Chinese chess, otherwise known as Xiang Qi. Uh, to begin, there are actually nine files as such, one, two, three, four, until nine files, and there are ten ranks horizontal, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pieces are placed on the intersections of the lines. So there is actually 9 times 10, 90 intersections possible for the chessboard. There is a middle area which constitutes the river and that will affect the movement of some pieces such as the elephant which I will introduce to you later on. Now let us see how to arrange the chess pieces one by one. First let us clear the board. So this is the cleared board at a glance. So you will notice that there is a grid here, which is very interesting with diagonal lines drawn. And there's also this positions whereby there is a flower like uh, decoration on this intersections like so, right? So these are important points for consideration. Let us first place the rook. So the rook are placed at the far side of the chessboard for the red and for the black. Now, so let us place the rook. So this is the rook, which in Chinese mean, means as pronounced as G. So these are the black rooks. As such, next we place the horses right beside the rook. So the Chinese chessboard is very easy to lay out as it is pretty much symmetrical about the center. Right? Let us next uh, arrange the horses, which will be like so. The horses are pronounced as Ma in Chinese. Next, let us place the elephants. So the elephants will be placed next to the horse. Now you will notice that the red elephant character is different from the black elephant character, although they are both pronounced as Xiang in Chinese. Uh, this is to differentiate between red and black pieces only. Uh, the meaning of the chess words, are, the meaning of the Chinese characters are actually different, uh, but we do so just to differentiate between red pieces and black pieces more easily. All right. Next, we have the advisors, which is known as si in Chinese. So we have the advisors placed here. And then finally, we can place the king, which is known as Sui for red and Jiang for black, as we shall see in a moment. So this is the red king, which is known as Sui, and the black king, which is known as Jiang. Now, uh, again, the words are different, the Chinese characters are different, uh, just purely the differentiate between the red pieces and black pieces only. Next, we have the pawns or the soldiers, which will be at the front line. So that will be very easy to remember. The soldiers are on the front line. Moreover, there's actually decorations to signify where the positions of the soldiers are. So we have these decorations here at the front, so these are meant for the pawns or the soldiers. So there we go, these are the soldiers. Next, we are going to place the final piece, which is the cannon. The cannon is actually uh, has a uh, long range uh, attack ability, so it is actually placed behind the pawn line, just like as you would in battle. So it's actually a pretty realistic 3D battlefield. So the, the cannons are placed in the remaining decorations right behind the pawn line as such.
So there we go. This is the full layout for the Chinese chess and the initial setup for playing the game of Chinese chess. Thank you.